Hello everybody, welcome back. Alright, so, Bitcoin, crypto, just keeps going, keeps doing what it's supposed to do, right? So, I find it funny that people panicked a bit. It's like, you got into crypto because the banking system's fake and it's gonna fail one day. But as soon as the banking system starts to fail, people start selling their crypto. It doesn't make any sense, right? So, this is what happens in the crypto world. We realize banking is a fraud. And eventually it is going to go to zero. And these banks are going to have a hard time. And they're starting to. Now they're greedy, right? And we need that. We need to depend on their greed. Because that will ultimately screw them over. And in a time of Bitcoin, in, in 2008, there wasn't no Bitcoin, right? So there's no options. But now there's options. We can take trillions, trillions out of the legacy system and pop it onto the blockchain. Instantaneous transactions. Uh, transparent, peer-to-peer, 24-7, done. So this is our chance. We can actually take this away from them. And I think we should just keep pushing and let these banks fall and stop our governments from bailing them out because that's our money, pretty much, right? All right, so let's, let's talk about uh, Kathy Wood. Now, this company here, ARK, they've been buying Coinbase shares like crazy. They don't give a crap. So, ARK Invest Kathy Wood says Bitcoin and Ethereum have not skipped a beat amid US banking crisis. That's right. We're built as the hedge against the greedy, fake, fraudulent, crazy, <laughs> psychopathic legacy system. ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood says that Bitcoin and Ethereum have continued to chug along even amid the crisis faced in the legacy markets. In a new episode of the In No, of in the know, Wood says the Bitcoin and Ethereum networks are functioning as expected and are not in any way affected by the high profile collapse of Silvergate Bank and Silicon Valley Bank. The Bitcoin blockchain and Ethereum, those two blockchains have not skipped a beat. There have been no transactions interrupted. The smart contracts, which are rules based, when there's a margin call, a stock goes down or something drops in value. There's an automatic margin call. It just happens automatically in this over collateralized system. What has happened with the Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchains is the is the is they serve as a proof of concept. They have not stopped. Transactions that were supposed to take place are taking place seamlessly, and the health of the network is still very strong. Wood also says that what happened in the legacy markets last week, where people witnessed where people witnessed the meltdown of two publicly traded banks, bodes well for the future of crypto. You're damn right. Short-term signals, on-chain signals might have turned it a bit negative because crypto is not immune from liquidity pressures generally in the traditional world, but this idea of decentralized and transparent, which we believe is going to support digital wallets, has just gotten more of a proof of concept. More centralized entities are going under. Ho ho, big words. As time of writing, Bitcoin is trading for 22391 bucks, while Ethereum is worth 1600 Both crypto assets are up over 9% in 24 hours. Think about that. That's some pretty big numbers in 24 hours. And that's just the tip of the iceberg of like two banks going down. Think about it. Everything is connected. There's going to be more of this happening now. There's going to be bank runs. People are going to be lining up at the banks, worried about their money. The more we take out of their system, the faster we can take control. Teach people what Bitcoin is. Do something because we're the people that aren't educated are the ones that are going to screw us over. <laughs> so we need to educate as much people as possible to get them to realize you can be an independent bank and do what the bank does, but do it yourself and you get all the profits, not the bank. That's how it should be. All right. So this is the crypto realm. Play hard, trade smart. Hello, fellow adventurers. Are you tired of lugging around those big, heavy, and noisy generators on your camping trips? Well, you're in luck. The Blue Eddy generator is here to make your life easier and your camping experience more enjoyable. Let me tell you, these generators are game changers. They're ultra portable and lightweight, making them perfect for taking on the go. And don't be fooled by their small size. These little guys pack a powerful punch. You can power up your devices, lights, and even small appliances like blenders or coffee makers, all with ease. But here's the best part. The Blue Eddy generators are super quiet. That's right. No more noisy interruptions to your peaceful camping experience. You can power up your gadgets without disturbing the peace and quiet of the great outdoors. And the utility of these generators 
doesn't stop there. They're also great for emergency backup power during power outages or natural disasters. Keep your lights on and your devices charged no matter what life throws your way. So why settle for those clunky, noisy, and heavy generators when you can have a portable and powerful solution that makes your camping life easy? In our pinned comments, you will find a link to Blue Eddy. Check them out today.